Samantha Broadhead is a name many in the Tampa Bay area may be familiar with. Back in 2009, she tried to kill her own mother by setting her on fire. Her attorney at the time argued the crime was the result of years of abuse. Tonight, we talked to him about these new charges that he also thinks are tied to abuse. These are the mugshots of Samantha Broadhead once she was over 18, but her criminal history began much earlier when she was just 11 years old and she poured gasoline on her mother's bed, then set it on fire while she slept. Defense attorney Roger Futerman represented her at the time. So when she was 12 years of age, the state charged her kind of unprecedented with attempted murder. And at first there was this visceral gut reaction that this was some evil young child at 12 years of age. And we looked a little deeper into what was the cause and effect of her actions. And the cause and effect of her actions is her mother's actions towards her. Futerman says Broadhead was abused since birth by her mother and a judge agreed, sentencing the then 12 year old to only probation. Fast forward 10 years and the now 21 year old is in trouble again. And when this girl was just 12 years old and she was your client at the time, mm -hmm. did you think that she would end up back in, in the system? I had hoped that she would never end up in the system. Um, but as I said, anyone that goes through what she went through is always going to be scarred for life. According to a federal indictment, Broadhead and her co-defendant Michael Davis are charged with conspiracy to engage in sex trafficking of a minor and attempted sex trafficking of a minor from December 2017 to January 2018. Futerman says if the allegations are true, abuse is likely the cause of this crime too. Often, and she's presumed innocent, but often people that commit crimes like this, a lot of the issues in their early childhood, their parenting or lack of cause future problems and criminal problems being some of them. Broadhead has pleaded not guilty in this latest federal case. She could learn her fate in this case in April. In the newsroom, Sandra Weather, Spectrum Bay News 9.